This is a mercury diffusion pump being hand blown. While it is an infra 13 part research tool, it is not unusual for them to be made in laboratories, but it is unusual for them to be made by a woman. Mrs. June Johnson, Ball State University, is one of very few women glass technologists in the country. Most of her work is done for the Ball State Chemistry, Physics, and Biology departments. Learning her skill at the Oak Ridge Atomic Energy Plant, Mrs. Johnson said she can make swans, fish, deer, and other types of what are called novelties or carnival glass. However, she prefers scientific work which requires more precision, the ability to grasp a scientist's idea, and the ability to make the apparatus he needs, a challenge Mrs. Johnson enjoys. She was asked how a woman became interested in a field dominated almost exclusively by men. I've always been interested in science and things having to do with science. And this glass blowing is a good way for me to be around the kind of environment that I like and the kind of people that I like. A question everyone wants answered is, what happens if you should inhale instead of exhale? Well, nothing really. It just messes the work up. I, I was working on a piece once, and uh, I was making some 25 millimeter bulbs, and I inhaled just all of a sudden. I don't know why. I just went, and it didn't hurt a bit, and it made the prettiest theta sign. It was really pretty. Jim Nickerson, Ball State News Bureau.